myself, Professor Pawar Vike from Department of Geography, JET Art, Science and Commerce College for Women, Malegao. On behalf of this video presentation, I welcome you all. The next is second feature of wave erosion or sea erosion is caves, geos and blowholes. Now, the sea caves. Sea caves are formed when the rock bears wide resistance or when the attack of sea waves is concentrated in one direction only. As a result, the cliffs are cut out into art pockets known as sea caves. Sometimes the hard rocks forming the cliffs bear weaknesses along bedding planes or joints. Attack of wave is stronger along such planes, spots or even areas. The waves can erode smooth materials easily, faster than the hard ones and form holes in the rocks. Repeated action of waves and tidal currents enlarge these holes into gaps. Hydraulic action, swirling, solvent action and compressional tensions work simultaneously so that gaps are carved out into caves known as sea caves. When the root of the sea caves due to prolonged erosion and weathering collapses, it produces a long, narrow, deep inlets into sea water into the coastal land. Such narrow, deep and elongated inlets are known as geos. Geo is found at Harihareshwar coast in Konkan region. Geos are common forms of wave action in Scandinavia. Next is blowholes. Sometimes due to differential resistance of rocks, the whole roof of the sea cave does not collapse, but some part of it in the form of hole it collapses. The waves drive the seawater that enters into the caves and part of it is forced out through the hole on the top of cliff roof is called as blowhole or gloops. Gloop in the sense the bulb when lighted it spreads out the light as like that the gloops. The sea water is forced out from the below hole in the form of spray. These are known as the blow holes. Now the next feature that is number third by the wave erosion is arc and stack. When the sea wave attack on the coast acts on two sides of the rock mass, differential erosion cuts the weaker portion and cuts it into a whole right angle to the plane of headland. Through passage is made through the projection of land and thus the relief form looks like an arc of rock. Such arcs are known as sea arcs. When the sea arc is subjected to further attack of forcing and rising waves, the top of the arc is also eroded. The arc like rock mass then breaks and collapses into the water so that the four rock is cut from the mainland. Such residual outstanding piece of rock near the shore is known as sea stack. Sea stacks are found along Konkan coast of Maharashtra. Now, second is the landforms of sea waves deposition. The deposition action of the work of the sea in brief we will see. The along with the erosion, deposition is another action of sea waves when these waves become weaker on shallower shelves. Waves, tides and currents are denudational agents where the rock fragments, boulders, pebbles 
shingles and sand are transported from one place to another and settle down in relatively calm or no action areas of sea waves deposition is also favored by obstruction in the way of rolling and traveling eroded material or debris the process of sea deposition is comparatively slow process it is irregular to variability of waves and currents now in sea waves or the sea wave deposition number first feature there is the beaches or beach ridges now the beach is a common feature of wave deposition along the coastlines a gently sloping platform by advance and recession of waves bearing sea deposits like mud sand and shells and pebbles such deposition is mainly formed due to action of long shore drift as a matter of fact the broken waves proceeds up the beach surface as a swash when the wave breaks obliquely to the coast the swash also <coughs> proceed obliquely however the backwash recedes back at right angle in the shoreline these two actions coupled to form long shore drifts beaches are generally found in the zone of high tide and low tide areas whenever we visit the coastal areas we found the beaches and generally these beaches are found in this particular width of long tide and high tide and low tide 